course, tonight the future of a proposed copper nickel mine near the Boundary Waters looks much more in doubt after a move by the Biden administration. It all boils down to two mineral leases for twin metals and a decision by the Department of the Interior. Karen Scullin joining us now. So, Karen, this has been an ongoing battle since 2013. Yes, a really long, long battle for sure. And reaction is pretty much what you'd expect. Elation on one side, devastation and some anger on the other. Today is, is, is truly, truly a great day. Fighting mining, saving the BWCA. That's been the goal. And today, Friends of the Boundary Waters and many others are celebrating a big win. Clean water and a mine like Twin Metals do not go together. That they are, Twin Metals was an existential threat to the Boundary Waters and it could not go forward. The Department of the Interior canceled the lease for Twin Metals, saying the leases were improperly renewed in 2019 by the Trump administration. But Twin Metals released a statement that says, in part, this is not about law. This is a political action intended to stop the Twin Metals project without conducting the environmental review prescribed in law. Critics of the mining operation say the mine's acidic runoff would have polluted the waters. When I read my email, I just, I literally screamed out loud Yes, because for once common sense has prevailed. Uh, I mean, this brought tears to my eyes. But Twin Metals says critics are wrong, as it uses a process that wouldn't produce any acidic and toxic runoff. Today, Minnesota Congressman Pete Stauber said the Biden administration's announcement today canceling these long standing mineral leases will have devastating impacts on northern Minnesota and our nation. Let me be clear President Biden is choosing to ban mining. Twin Metal says this isn't over, saying it will, quote, challenge this attempt to stop our project and defend our valid existing mineral rights. We expect to prevail. What we've achieved with our partners and with, you know, so many thousands of supporters is an important milestone that will hopefully lead to the permanent protection of the Boundary Waters and its precious waters from uh, the evils of sulfide mining. So as you can see, both sides saying they have no doubt that they'll win the next round. And for those who may not know, copper sulfides are used in a lot of products, but are especially important to the automotive industry. Kelsey? All right. Thanks, Karen. Well,